Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a really fast method for finding the unit circle radians for 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So let's get started. We'll begin with 30 degrees. Now the first thing you always want to write is the denominator. If you haven't noticed this already, the denominator for 30 degrees is always 6, or at least for the radians associated with 30 degrees, is always 6. And the way I remember that is the 3 and 30 and the 6 add up to 9. So they're somewhat complementary. So if you can remember that, then you're good. So the next thing we want to do is find two numbers that sandwich 6. In other words, we want to find a number to the left of 6, and then we want to find a number to the right of 6. So those two numbers are 5 and 7. The next trick we want to do, I call add left, subtract right. So we add left, so 5 plus 6 gives us 11, and 7 minus 6 gives us 1. And if we multiply by pi, or everything by pi, or we just add like a pi in, we get pi over 6 in the, for the first quadrant, 5 pi over 6 for the second quadrant, 7 pi over 6 for the third quadrant, and 11 pi over 6 for the fourth quadrant. So those are the radians for... 30 degrees. Now moving on to 45 degrees. Like, like, like in the last step, the first thing we want to do is write the denominator. The common denominator between each of the radians associated with 45 degrees. In this case, the way I remember this is it's, it's a 4. So the way I remember this is that 4 and 5 already add up to 9. So we just take 4 and put it there. Or you can just remember that 4 and then 4. Either way, whatever way helps you to remember. But you, you need to remember that. And then once you do that, we just do the same thing we did last time, the sandwich method. So what two numbers sandwich 4? In other words, what number is to the left of 4 and what number is to the right of 4? And those are 3 and 5. So adding left and subtracting right, 3 plus 4 is 7, 5 minus 4 is 1. So adding pi to each of these, we get pi over 4 for the first quadrant, 3 pi over 4 for the second quadrant, 5 pi over 4 for the third quadrant, and 7 pi over 4 for the fourth quadrant. And that's it. So let's move on to 60 degrees. So for 60 degrees, just, just as with um, the 30 degrees one, I think of what number gives me 9. So 6 plus x gives me 9. So solving for x, we get 3. So 3 is the number on the denominator because 6 and 3 add up to 9. That's how I remember. So the next step we want to do is the sandwich method. So what two numbers sandwich 3? Well, that's 2 and 4. So adding left and subtracting right, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 4 minus 3 is 1. Now, adding pi to each of these numbers, we get pi over 3 in the first quadrant, 2 pi over 3 in the second quadrant, 4 pi over 3 in the third quadrant, and then 5 pi over 3 in the fifth quadrant, in the fourth quadrant, sorry. And that's pretty much it. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. So let's go through one more time just to make sure you got it. So for 30 degrees, the denominator is 6. 
So the two numbers that sandwich six are five and seven. Adding left and subtracting right, five plus six is eleven, and seven minus six is one. And one quick note: if you ever if you ever are unsure if it's add left, subtract right. If you do 5 minus 6, you get a negative 1. So you know you can't have that. So it's kind of like a foolproof system almost. So that's just one way. So writing that with the pi, we write pi over 6 for the first quadrant, 5 pi over 6 for the second quadrant, 7 pi over 6 for the third quadrant, and 11 pi over 6 for the fourth quadrant. Now moving on to 45 degrees, we note, note that the denominator is 4. The two numbers that sandwich four are three and five. And adding left, subtracting right, three plus four is seven. Five minus four is one. And another note, after a while, you don't need to remember that the first one's one because it's always going to be one for all of them. So you don't always have to write one. You can just write it automatically or whatever. Moving on to writing it with a pi, you get pi over four, three pi over four, 5 pi over 4, and then 7 pi over 4 for the fourth quadrant. Moving on to 60 degrees, the denominator is 3 because the 3 and the 6. And then we start, we'll just write the 1. And then two numbers that sandwich 3 are 2 and 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 4 minus 3 is already 1. So rewriting that with the pi, we get pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Now, the more practice you get with this, the faster you get at it. So time yourself and see how quick you can get them down. Hope you enjoyed it.